Hi, my name is Sally Gimmon, and I'm the owner of the trustisyou.com and a podcast called Stop Paying Capital Gains Now. I want to talk to you about the difference between the 1031 exchange with the Spendthrift Trust. This is a true client of mine. Uh, Tom and Vera are in Florida. Uh, they contacted me uh, last August because they were going to be selling a auction house that they got for $300,000, put $100,000 of work into it, and then we're going to sell it and uh, make $600,000 profit on it. Congratulations to them. They just sent me an email April 1st. Uh, the two of them are out in their lanai, the back porch, uh, having mimosas, toasting each other because they took the money that they saved with the Spendthrift Trust and put it into a REIT, a real estate investment trust, where they're getting 12% interest every single month. Here's their story. Uh, Tom is 79, Vera is 76, Vera is a real estate agent, and she didn't want to do the 1031 exchange. It's a very specific timeline. 45 days to find a third party, and then 160 days to find a, 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 a like building to replace that. This house was going to be sold for $1.2 million. So she was going to have to scramble to find other places to do this. Her CPA said, talk to Sally. Well, because they got a trust, I sent her CPA $600 for the referral. And with what they were able to do, because it's long-term capital gains, they held it for three years. They either saved $90,000 in capital gains, that's a lot of money, or at 20%, they saved $120,000 in capital gains. Congratulations to them. Mm -hmm. Now they're in a REIT that are, they're being paid 12% uh, interest rate on, on their money every single month. The trust uh, uh, defers the, the taxes on the, uh, the interest income too. This trust is legal, it's patented, it's in the IRS tax code 643B, like Bravo. It has been in front of the US Supreme Court twice, both times the Supreme Court has honored in favor of the Sabin Thrift Trust saying it can enter any contract and do business on its behalf. Now with Tom and Vera, what they're going to be doing is they're gonna be leaving the legacy to their two children and five grandchildren. Because it go, this is irrevocable, it goes from uh, generation to generation. I did not know this until I got the email that they sold seven more houses in the Tampa Bay area for quite a bit of money. Congratulations to them. They, again, because they didn't do the 1031 exchange, they did it through the Spendthrift Trust. All the capital gains went through the Spendthrift Trust. They're gonna save that year after year. And now that they're in uh, getting interest income, they're gonna save the taxes on that. By the way, taxes on interest income, there's seven different brackets. I don't know what your uh, tax bracket is, but it's between 10% to 37%. And whatever your uh, tax bracket is, that's what you're gonna save year after year. If you'd like to know more information about this, I split the Spendthrift Trust into two. The Business Trust is for 1099 income earners. I don't care if you're a real estate agent, if you are a salesperson being paid in 1099, if you're an IT contractor, if you're an affiliate marketer, you're gonna save 70% of your federal taxes year after year after year after year. If uh, the Beneficial Spendthrift Trust is for investors, a passive investor, a real estate investor, crypto investor, crypto miner, uh, doing Forex, stock market, options, anything else. You're gonna save the following taxes year after year after year. Capital gains, short-term and long-term. Interest income, dividend income. Sorry, that's a meeting coming up. Interest income, dividend income, uh, uh, rental income. Yes, you can take depreciation, but you're still gonna save and keep your information private and not pay any judgments when you get sued. So uh, you guys with short-term or long-term rentals, you still need to know about the spend of trust and any royalties actors, actresses, authors, artists, NFT world. If I can help you save uh, federal taxes legally with the Spendthrift Trust, please go out to the trustisyou.com or listen to my podcast, Stop Paying Capital Gains Now. Thank you for listening to this short uh, video. I have to apologize for getting the carpeting up the stairs done. So if you've heard some noises in the background, that's what you've heard. Take care. Have a beautiful day.